Imagine what life would be like if each day you focused on a few small habits that created a chain reaction of positive benefits throughout your life. You eat a healthy breakfast, have a great conversation with your loved ones, and then begin your workday focusing on the important tasks. Then, throughout the day, you complete other habits that positively impact your top goals. I guarantee you'd feel more fulfilled, get more accomplished, and have a better direction for your career. So in this video, we will profile 13 small habits that can change your life forever that only take 5 minutes or less to complete. Now be sure to watch this whole video to the end because I will provide a free tool to take action on what you're about to learn. And finally, if you enjoy the content of this video, then please help us out by taking a few seconds to hit the like button. Let's get to it. Number 1. Schedule your day. Setting a daily schedule helps to identify your priorities and make the best use of your time. To get started, use the Eisenhower Decision Matrix to rank the priority of each task on your to-do list. Quadrant 1. Important and Urgent Quadrant 2. Important but not urgent Quadrant 3. Not important but urgent Quadrant 4. Not important, not urgent Structure your day so you work on the first quadrant tasks, then the second, then the third, and finally, only work on the fourth if you have time. The crucial thing here is to make sure that your day is focused on the activities that bring the most value to your job or business. Number 2. Work on your hardest task first. When you look at your list of tasks, it's tempting to choose the smaller, easier tasks to do first. If you have a big project that fills you with dread, you're much more likely to procrastinate and put it off until later. But if you do the hardest task first, you'll feel energized knowing that the toughest item has been crossed off your list. The result is that all other tasks will feel like a breeze in comparison. To learn more, check out our video where we talk about the importance of focusing on your one thing. Number 3. Break down big goals into smaller goals. Sometimes a project is so overwhelming that you simply don't know where to get started. This leads to procrastination and unnecessary stress. But if you set aside time to create a step-by-step -step plan for each goal, you can overcome procrastination because you'll know exactly where to get started. For each of your major projects, take a few minutes to chunk it down into simple-to-complete tasks that can be completed in a single workday. Number 4. Track Your Expenses Tracking your expenses is the most important financial habit you could ever develop, but it's also the hardest because it means you have to be 100% honest with yourself about your spending. The process is simple. At the end of the day, write down everything you and your family purchased. You can do this by keeping all the receipts, credit card statements, and notes in an emergency for each expenditure. Then put this information into one of the following tools. A notebook a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, a cloud-based app like Mint. Over time, you'll notice spending trends that can be curtailed. Often, this means making sacrifices and even having a hard conversation about the difference between what you need and what you want. For more on this, watch our video on how to avoid lifestyle creep. Number 5. Negotiate Better Prices Another great way to master your finances is to stop bleeding money. In other words, reducing your monthly expenditures can help eliminate your debt and start putting more money into your long-term investments. All of this can be achieved by calling each company and negotiating a reduction on many of those small charges. This tactic works because most companies understand the cost of acquiring new customers is lower than the price reduction you're trying to negotiate. So if you're aggressive enough to call each account and ask for a deal or a price reduction, you can save a bit of money on your bills each month. If you want specific scripts of what to say and how to say it, then I recommend signing up for Ramit Sethi's free email mini course, the Save $1,000 in One Week Challenge. To make this a consistent habit, I recommend calling at least one company a week to negotiate better terms for your contract. Then reinvest this money into your credit card debt, student loans, mortgage payments, or long-term investments. Number 6. Smash that unsubscribe button. Email is one of the biggest time sucks around. While it's a critical part of the modern business environment, it's also a productivity killer 
because it means most of your day is spent sorting through junk mail. So one way to fix this is to create a daily habit where you unsubscribe from a few email lists each day. To get started, you can use a filter that's available in most email management programs like Gmail, Outlook, and Hotmail. Go to the search bar for each program and enter one simple word, unsubscribe. From there, look at each of the messages that this query brings up. Odds are you aren't interested in most of these marketing emails. So if you spend a little time every day removing yourself from these lists, you'll see a dramatic decrease in the amount of daily junk email. Or you can use a tool like Unroll Me that provides a simple bulk process for unsubscribing from all your unwanted email messages. Number 7. Keep a food journal. This is a critical habit if you want to lose or maintain weight. Maintaining a food journal is an effective strategy because it makes you responsible for your actions, encourages you to avoid little snacks, and keeps you on track to meet your health goals. In fact, one study has shown that keeping a food diary can double your diet weight loss efforts. To get started, you can use a tool like MyFitnessPal to get an accurate measurement of the food you're eating. Add this habit to an evening routine to make sure you're being accurate about what you eat daily. Finally, be honest with your logging efforts. If you cheat, then write it down. Nobody will look at this journal besides you, so trying to hide your indulgences will only hurt you. Number 8. Make your bed. The task of making your bed seems so minor, but it can actually have a pretty big impact on the rest of your day. Making your bed allows you to start your day by completing a task, which will set a positive tone for the rest of the day. In a commencement speech at the University of Texas, U.S. Navy Admiral William H. McRaven said the following to the graduating class. If you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Yes, making your bed seems like an unimportant habit, but just remember the advice from Admiral McRaven. If you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. Number 9. Take Pictures Document your life by taking pictures of anything important or relevant that you come across during the day. Not only will this give you a timeline of your life in the future, it will also help you pay more attention to the everyday details of your life that may seem insignificant at first, but are actually the events that make up who you are. Number 10. Wear a pedometer. If you begin the habit of wearing a step tracking device, chances are pretty high that you will start to find new ways to be active throughout the day. In fact, one study found that wearing a pedometer can help you increase the distance that you walk each day by about a mile, which is a 27% increase in physical activity per day for the average person, which can definitely add up over time. If you start each day by clipping on this device, you'll take that crucial first step to building the exercise habit. And when you constantly wear this device, you'll find reasons to get more movement throughout the day. Finally, if you don't have a step tracker, then feel free to check out our detailed review that compares the pricing and features of the most popular step trackers. Number 11. Get rid of one thing. By either donating, selling, or throwing away an item a day, you can reduce clutter and possibly earn back some money on an item that you no longer use. This will help create more space in your home, and it will probably lead you to think twice before making unnecessary purchases in the future. To get started, Create a three-box system for items that you'd like to eliminate. Label them as 1. Sell 2. Donate 3. Toss Next, while cleaning and organizing your home, look for items that you no longer need, like old clothes that don't fit or toys that your children have outgrown. You can make quick decisions here by asking yourself two questions. 1. When was the last time I used this item? Two. Why am I still keeping it? If it's been over a year since you've used this item and you can't come up with a valid reason for why you're holding on to it, then get rid of it. And commit to this habit by getting rid of at least one item per day. Number 12. Learn a new word. Expanding your vocabulary comes with a wide range of benefits. You'll increase communication skills, give your brain a small workout, and improve your confidence in social situations. 
All of this is possible if you commit to learning one new word a day. There are five ways to learn new words. 1. Change your web browser homepage to the word of the day from dictionary.com. 2. Subscribe to a daily email, courtesy of a word a day. 3. Buy a word of the day desk calendar. 4. Download a word of the day mobile app. 5. Look up word definitions whenever you hear a new one. Just pick one of these five methods and focus on learning a new word to start each day with the correct pronunciation. Number 13. Plan your meals each week. We often make poor financial and health decisions due to a lack of proper planning. One reason people consume fast food is because they think about what they'll eat at the last minute and then buy whatever is immediately accessible. You, on the other hand, can prevent this from happening by building a weekly habit where you plan your meals for the next seven days. Each week, think about your family's schedule. Identify the number of meals to prepare and then map out what you'll cook during the upcoming weeks. Not only does this help you eat healthy, it also reduces the amount of money you spend on takeout and eating at restaurants. To get started, we will link to a step-by-step -step process on how to plan your meals. Now, let's talk about the free tool that I promised in the introduction in this video. The strategies that I discussed require you to build habits into your daily routine. So if you want to take immediate action, then be sure to check out the description box where you will find a habit tracking template you can download and print out. And if you want a simple system for creating positive habits in your life, then click and watch our video on the 9-step process for building a habit that sticks.